have here today in Jen Love's Kitchen. We are going to be making an actual dinner. Okay, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some boneless skinless chicken breasts, but about a pound is good. You're also going to need an egg and some mixed crackers. I got reduced fat so that it's healthier for us. And I got some pepper, some pepper jack cheese. You're also going to need about a cup of mushrooms. You can use more if you love the mushrooms. You're also going to need a quarter pound of deli ham. Now I'm going to preheat my El Crapola oven that comes with the apartment to 350 degrees. I have a magic bullet and I love it. The only thing I don't like it for is I don't like it for chopping things thick. You only want to really use the magic bullet for things that are like you want to like puree to death. Because if you do it too long, your stuff will turn into complete mush. But I love it. It's really fast. It's really easy. Now if you don't have a magic bullet, that's okay too. You can just use... I like to say the magic words before I use the magic bullet because it's magical. Magic bullet, do your magic. One, two, three, and it's done. Okay, so here's my little egg. Now you're gonna want a decent sized bowl for this because you're gonna end up having to dip the chicken in. Now what we need to do is we need to crush up our crackers. Mm, yay! I've got my crackers in my baggie. Yay! This is a popcorn! All squished. Now we're gonna put our crackers into another bowl. until it's all covered with eggy. And then we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna dip it in the crummy bowl until it's all covered in crumbs. You're unbelievable. Now we can just throw the rest of this stuff away because we don't need it anymore. We're done with that. One thing I wanted to mention about chicken. If you're not used to cooking chicken, make sure when you open up the package that it doesn't smell nasty. Fresh chicken doesn't really have very much of a smell. If it smells funky when it's starting to go bad. You don't want to die. Also, make sure you always wash your hands after touching chicken. Because if you don't, you will spread nasty bacteria all over your kitchen, and that's gross. Don't do that, because then you'll get sick, and you'll puke, and that will be nasty. We're going to take our chicken, and we're going to put it in the dish. And, ooh, we need sauteing on mushrooms. Mm. Okay, we're going to need a saucepan, and our good old friend, extra virgin olive oil. And you're gonna pour, I don't know, that tablespoon or so. About, I don't know, about that much. This is not the cover of the pan. It's kind of a little kind of oil with a pan. And we're gonna heat that up until it just starts to smoke. All right. So, our oil is like little watery looking, and you see how, it, I'm not sure if you can see the smoke, but it's smoking just a little bit. And we're gonna pour 
I'm gonna lower the heat down to medium. I'm gonna pour my mushrooms in. Woo! If you don't have oil, you can always use butter for this. And I think my website actually says use butter. But butter's not as good for you, so we're gonna use the extra virgin olive oil. Mushrooms kind of tend to shrink a little bit when you start cooking. So if you like mushrooms, you definitely wanna use more than a cup. Probably closer to two cups. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our mushrooms on our chicken. But I don't like mushrooms. I'm gonna leave them off as Mike is very nice. Now we need to put this into the oven for about 10 minutes. Now we need to take our ham. And it's probably pretty good to put it so that it lays on the chicken. So that when you separate the pieces of the chicken, you don't have to cut through the ham. I'm going to put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. You're unbelievable. The smell in here has gone from a mushroomy foot smell to a ham smell. And it just smells really, really yummy. I wish I could put it through a ham before you get this one. See how the ham's curling up on the edges? That's how you know that it's ready to come out of the oven. Okay. What the cheese will be about as thin as a regular slice of cheese. Now we're going to put it back in the oven one more time for about five more minutes or until the cheese is melted. You definitely want your chicken cooked all the way. You can tell your chicken's cooked all the way because it's not glossy in the middle. It can be juicy. You still want it to be all glossy and shiny and look creepy in the middle like raw chicken. Because that's how you get sick. I don't want any of you to get sick. I want you to be happy and healthy so that you can watch more videos. Yay! Alright, oh! Did you guys see what I did? You're unbelievable. Check this out. That. It's all melty and good. There's one last special touch if you happen to have it around your house. A little bit of parsley on the top. Just to make it pretty. I'm telling you, it is super good. Super, super good. And if you're feeling bright, you feel free to substitute some stuff. Think about what flavors that you like. And you think they taste really good together. These are flavors I like together, but get creative. Do something different. Try it out. You heard or say stereo, you ordered the border and pizza. Probably would you order that anyway, so you might as well try something different. But with every great dinner, we need a great side dish. Now, our dinner's ready. We don't really have a whole lot of time because the dinner's gonna get cold. So I'm gonna show you how to make really fast, easy steamed vegetables. They're on my website, they're called Snazzy Steamed Vegetables. Take a regular Tupperware or whatever container, like even the cheapy stuff works. Okay, take that, put a little bit of water in the bottom. You're so unbelievable. Just a little bit in the bottom. Take the top on, but don't close it all the way. Now we're going to put it in the microwave, and if you have a, veg a fresh vegetable button, you can just push that, or you can microwave it for about two minutes. If you like your vegetables a little mushy, you can cook them a little longer. If you like your vegetables a little crispier, you can cook them a little less. It's up to you. You can do what you want. Also, you can add some salt and pepper, or 
I am a huge fan of McCormick seasoning. Check this out. This stuff is called garlic and onion medley. And it's really, really good on steamed vegetables. So I recommend that too. Just sprinkle a little bit on top. Don't overdo it. It's definitely better to have less than you can love. We do a little dance. They're almost done. You're unbelievable. Very careful. Ow, 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 ow. Bam, check that out. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god, that looks so good for the chicken. Oh, yummy vegetables. I want to eat them. Mmm, and cheeky. Mmm, yummy. Okay, now we get to eat dinner as good. Give me the knife. Thank you. My dad takes one. Bye.